No, I don't go out that often, but I'm yeah, in Chiang Mai, I was out in Vietnam in April, oh. and next March I go again, because I got a job to take people around. How many people are going to be in his uh, tourist uh, uh Oh, just two the first time, that's, that's pretty good, because that way it'll be friendlier. Yeah. Right, so. Jim Goodman, when's the last time that you saw Willow actually, Susan? About a month ago. Yeah? And that was only the second time. I met him first about several months ago, I think earlier this year or something like that. Right. That time I came with my wife. We were interested because he was staying with an Aka girl, so that, that's... Because uh, you've written a that book That was a connection, it. right, so I, I had a long relationship with Akas, so... Uh -huh naturally gravitate to somebody else who has too. <laughs> of course, yeah. So you've really just seen him in the latter days, really. So yeah, yeah, I didn't know him earlier at all. All right. What's your impression of, of But we, we seem to have had uh, a few common experiences, or at least the same countries. Ah, right. So there was more to talk about than I expected. And it wasn't just about Aka. Ah, interesting. What's your impression of him as a, as a person, you know? Since you're yeah, I'm remarkably lucid and together for his age and all that. And I like his attitude about life and death as well, you might say. You know? My wife was saying, why does he go to the hospital? I said, well, maybe because if he knows he's going to die, it's better not to be in a hospital. It's sterile and surrounded with unfeeling, friendly, not really unfriendly people, but not involved with you. I, yeah. I, when my turn comes, I would rather like die at home. Sure. Yeah, and, it's personal, uh, isn't it? Familiar it's environment, you know. Sure. Absolutely. And things to remind me rather than yeah. having to close my eyes to remember something. Right. And because it's, the hospital conditions are terrible. And you, did you meet his daughter? Has she gone out already? He arrived yesterday from New York. No, I didn't meet her. Okay. Jeez. No, I only knew a couple of days ago that uh, uh, he was uh, dying, right? So um, yesterday I, uh, I was engaged all day. Sure. Couldn't make it, so I, oh, I was thinking yesterday, I, I hope he's still alive tomorrow. I, mean, I don't know how close he is. No, he seems like... You know, I, I wouldn't guess that he's dying. I'd guess that he's injured, that he's an invalid or something like that, but being still able to talk about anything and you know, might forget something once in a while but you know it seems to come back to it uh, we all forget something once in a while <laughs> so no he hasn't lost his memory or anything right that's important when you get old you know and mm. if you can keep your memory then um, life is much better because you can remember things that are satisfying Absolutely. Well, Jim, thank, thanks for your time. It's nice to, nice to hear I hope we get a chance to make it yet another. How, how do you feel about him still hanging on, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of hard to say goodbye right now, you know, I don't know. Yeah. We'll see you. Uh,